Gold. It's shiny, and humans seem to love it. We have treasured this precious commodity and even used it as a form of money. Humans get gold out of the earth through a process called mining. Mining is not an easy process. It requires a lot of equipment and effort. First, miners have to find gold deposits, then use drilling equipment to get to it, then break open rock formations to actually find it. Mining is hard work. But that's part of what makes gold so valuable. It's not only beautiful, but it's also hard to mine and there's a limited supply. So once all the gold on earth is mined, there won't be any new gold to find. Crypto mining works in a similar way. But instead of physical deposits of crypto being buried in the earth and real people using real equipment to mine it, there are digital deposits of crypto that engineers and computers or miners try to find. Crypto miners find new coins when they solve really hard math problems. These hard math problems are what verify and record new transactions on a blockchain. Without miners doing these math problems, blockchain technology wouldn't work. The problem is that solving these math problems requires a lot of computing power. So miners need an incentive, a reward for solving them. So each time a miner solves a math problem, they are rewarded with new crypto coins. It's a virtuous circle. Miners help keep the blockchain running and secure, and in return, the blockchain gives miners the coins. A lot of people describe Bitcoin as digital gold. That's because Bitcoin, like gold, is limited. There can only ever be 21 million Bitcoin. It's written into its code. Today, more than 19 million Bitcoins have already been mined. That's more than 90% of all the Bitcoin that will ever exist. But one Bitcoin can be divided into 100 million parts. That's a lot of Bitcoin for the world to enjoy.